welcome to the Paul Wallace channel. In these short stories of origins, I'm going to be sharing some anomalous stories from the news, strange phenomena in the world today, and asking how they relate to our world mythologies and ancestral narratives around the world. How does what we experience today relate to what our ancestors had to tell us? And I'd like to know what you think. So I'm going to ask a question at the end of each one so that you can dive into the comments and we can get into a conversation. Please subscribe and click on the bell for all notifications. For 33 years of my life, I served in church ministry. And anyone who's been in ministry for that length of time is likely to have had various paranormal experiences. For me, across the years, I had a number of experiences that I could describe as remote viewing. And this is where you see in your mind's eye something that may be on the other side of the world, and certainly something that's not in your immediate perceptual field. For years, I had experiences like these that I described in ministry terms, and then I started having other experiences that had nothing to do with ministry. Just randomly, I would see the face of somebody I'd never met before, and then recognize them a couple of weeks later when they walked into the room. One time, somebody phoned me up. It was a musician wanting a gig at the church that I was working at. And as I spoke to him on the phone, I could see in my mind's eye exactly what he looked like. So much so that when he randomly walked into the room a couple of weeks later, I recognized him from what I'd seen in my mind's eye. On another occasion, we wanted to have the exterior of our house painted to prepare it for sale. And I was talking to the real estate agent and she said, oh, my husband does painting work. He might be able to do that for you if you'd be interested. I'll give you his details. And as she lent over a piece of paper to write out his details, I saw in my mind's eye exactly what he looked like. So much so that when I saw him in his car driving down our street a couple of weeks later, I recognized him from what I'd seen in my mind's eye. Well, I couldn't explain this because this didn't really fit in a ministry framework. This seemed to be something my brain was doing through a mechanism that I did not, and still do not, fully understand. It is what we call remote viewing. It's very possible you've had similar experiences yourself. But what do they mean? Are they just random glitches in the matrix? Or is it a skill that we could harness and put to work? In the 1500s, Queen Elizabeth I employed a Welsh philosopher and scientist by the name of John Dee. Among other things, he was there to help Queen Elizabeth I develop an intelligence service, and his work lay at the roots of what was to become MI5. Now, in that time in British history, Britain was just getting going in building its international empire. And to do that, it needed good intelligence on what other nations were doing. Britain didn't have the coin to get boots on the field in all the countries where they wanted to mm, have a vantage on what was going on. And so John Dee's job was to develop a remote viewing department. The advantage of that was that without having to fly people around the world and get them into the courts of foreign kings, you could use this technology to work out what your enemies and allies were thinking, saying, and planning. That was the philosophy behind this department of remote viewing. Now, we might listen to that and think, thank goodness we don't live in such dark, unenlightened times today. Except that US intelligence declassified some papers that revealed that a remote viewing department had been maintained up until the 1990s. And if you watch our interviews on The Fifth Kind TV, you will know that in another form, subcontractors have continued to serve US intelligence from that time to this. So when you realize that serious government money is still being spent on what we would call remote viewing, it might make you consider the phenomenon in a different light. But I want to know what you think. Have you ever had an experience where you saw something 
that was happening in another place, and then later it was confirmed that you saw correctly? Let me know by jumping into the comments. We'll get into a conversation, and I'd love to explore this subject with you. Click on the bell for all notifications so that you don't miss these short stories of origins, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.